Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings today. We have a trending news here for you. And the headline says, See what Biafrans did during border closure. Learn. Um, this is not the first time they're closing the borders, but we want to, Nigerians ought to listen to this so that we know uh, what to do. We know already that Biafra, that's at least the uh, southeastern state, which is uh, Biafra land, have a lot of innovative abilities in them. And we just want to consider what they did that, um, you know, make them scale of the economic ladder and we highly recognize as one of the most innovative people at least if not in the world but in africa all right but before we go into details of the news and for the analysis we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish videos on youtube all right biafra land Sea and air borders were blockaded by Nigeria, supported by Russian fighter jets manned by Egyptian pilots. World powers, except of course the United States and France, looked elsewhere as atrocities reigned. The Biafrans did not go to bed. They put on their thinking cap. That is exactly what I want Nigerians to do. It is not enough to announce that local farmers are smiling to the banks. I expect government to factor other things that go beyond producing rice in Abakaleki. What does it take to move the product from beyond Abakaleki, uh, beyond Ebony State? Beyond politics, we know that Lagos is the most popular state in the country. A good rice farmer in Abakaleki would, of course, love to take advantage of the huge market. After escaping potholes in Enugu, Anambra and Delta State, danger stares him in the face. The Jebu Ode Shagamu Axis is a nightmare. Moving on the Shagamu Lagos Highway is the height of gridlock, and that coupled with fears of bandits and headsmen from Ofosu to Ore. Ours is a country of consumers. We import almost everything. Nigeria does not plan at all. We cannot even produce tissue paper to wipe our dirty bum after feeding fat on foreign goods. As a kid, I began to recite, necessity is the mother of invention. That was a common jingle in Biafra. With borders militarized, the people looked inward. Biafra became a mass of industry. Everyone was involved, even the, in, in the midst of starvation. Medical equipment was scarce, but there was a way out and it was homegrown. Professor Theodore Okehahi, Okehahi Alam, who was part of it all, paints a humble picture of the feat achieved. Okehahi Alam said that, that that was a period of exciting Igbo scientific innovation, just like the use of coconut water as intravenous fluid by doctors to treat wounded soldiers as emergencies. According to the professor of pediatrics, that leap by Biafran doctors did not go unnoticed by the globe. It later proved to be scientifically sound and was reviewed in international medical journals later. Radio Biafra had many prominent names, people like Chino Achebe, Uche Chuku Merije and Cip Cyprian Equenzi Equenzi made contributions. At the time the war ended in January 1970, it was headed by Sam Nwaneri. Oko Okon Ndem's, Ndem's voice was sharper than an AK-47 bullet. The way he made announcement, many Biafrans believed their troops were just miles short of capturing J General Jakubu Gowon alive. It was believed that Radio Biafra operated from Enugu, which had f fallen into federal hands as early as 1967. Many wondered how General Mecca Ojuku held on to that miracle. However, the man who made Radio Biafra stay on was Heron Okehelam, an electra, electrical electronics engineer trained in the United Kingdom. While he moved the station from one secret location to another, bullets and fighter bombers were unable to detect it. Prof. Elam is his elder brother. Prof. Elam said Heron converted Radio Biafra from medium to short wave for wider coverage. It was indeed a mobile station. It moved from Enugu to Umuahia, and by the end of the war, was operating from Ob Obodougou Ureala in today's Ihiato area of Imo State. At one time, Prof. Elam added the transmitter was in Otulu during the war, and a long, and a long palm tree was used to mount their aerial. 
Colonel Olu Obasanjo, who received his inst instrument of surrender as general, as general officer commanding the 3rd Marine Commando Division of the Nigerian Army, could not but marvel at what radio or, or what was Radio Biafra. Locating it was like a wild goose chase. Accompanied by battle tested troops, Obasanjo whistled through rough terrain in his official Mercedes Benz car NA116 until mission was accomplished. He said the station was well camouflaged from both ground and air by trees and palm fronds which were changed regularly. It was a perfect job. Trust the passenger, he came back to ready and was after Oko Okonin them. The Bokasta outsmarted him by disappearing into the undergrowth and enraged OBJ threatened to flog Ekenoto demons out of the man. When Oko Okon in them eventually surfaced, the soldiers who would have been ordered to kill him were carried away. They hailed and took pictures and photographs with the non Igbo Biafran. Accompanying Obasanjo was another non Igbo, General Philip Asukwa Fion, president of Biafra in the absence of General Emeka Ojuku, who was flown out in his grey ghost by Captain Frank Osagwe. Obasanjo said some of, asked some of the Radio Biafra workers to accompany him to Lagos, where they would be reabsorbed by Nigerian radio. Oyakelam declined. In 1976, he could not say no to Imo State Governor Lieutenant Commander Ndubisi Kano. Kano scheduled Oyakelam with the responsibility of setting up the Imo Broadcasting Service, IBS. Oyakelam attended St. Joseph's College, Sussex, Cameroon, before proceeding to Professional Technical College, Southampton. He backed the higher degree from the University of Syracuse. The engineer also lived up to his initials of HOD when appointed HOD Engineering and Electrical Engineering Department of IMT Enugu. Biafran scientists did great things. They made beer from cassava. Engine oil from from engine oil came out of coconut. They manufactured Obunigwe rockets and built Red Devil armored cars. There were refineries, airports, spring up in Uli, Uga, and Obilago. Among the scientists were Gudion and others. Then in all this, there's a lesson for Nigeria. Biafrans were pushed to the war by Nigeria. They reacted by looking inwards. Today, Nigerians' land borders are closed. Nigeria should wake up from slumber and do something. No serious government ever told the path of discrimination. You cannot throw away merit and expect development. It will be a national shame if Nigeria miss this opportunity. All right, this is a good one, and um, we just want to look at it critically and do some analysis about it. Looking inwards is the key word there because that's the only way we can solve the problem that aging problems in Nigeria. The uh, the issues that we have in Nigeria is the fact that we depend so much on you know the international communities. We import so much. I, I can assure you that the reason why there is bilateral relationship between Nigeria and some of the most developed countries in the world is not because they love our black skin. It's not because they value us so much. It's not because they have something to do with Nigeria so much. But it, it's our teeming population. Looking at our teeming population, they really want to take advantage of it. Let's look at what Biafrans did that time and, you know, Take a, take a cue behind it. Imagine having to create certain things that it's unthinkable. How can you create engine oil from coconut? How Jesus. do you do it? It and was... Coconut water. Yeah. Use, veins vein to the, cure uh, sicknesses. sicknesses and all Jesus. of that. That was... You know, extreme of innovation. They sat back, they look inwards, they knew they have the capability within them. All those who are, you know, have gotten so much knowledge, they gather together and get things done. Now the borders are closed. And I can assure you that yesterday I went to the market uh, at the southwest. I went to the market to buy some things. The faces of the traders were so long because Nigerians are not coming in to buy products. People are saying, uh, some people even came looking for certain products in the market. Now, I was there. A woman walked in and was looking for us. I won't mention the product, but she, it was a foreign, foreign product. She came, you know, Yoruba woman. She came looking for it. But hey, that product was nowhere to be found. 
The reason is because the borders are closed. And, no and, and, and she was feeling really bad and was just walking away, talking to herself and all of that. So the quizing. But hey, I think what we have learned now, it's a clear indication that we have inherently, Nigerians, we have the capability to create this thing. Let's begin to look inward. Let's begin to start fixing things. I've, I've always been of the opinion that young people should stop looking out for jobs. Job. Some people will go to church and spend years in church because they, they want to pray for her to get a job and all of that. No, it, it, it's, it's uncalled for. The reason why you go to school, you want to broaden your this thing, horizon, your knowledge. You want to increase your knowledge about certain things. So that's the one of the major reasons why you go to school, such that when you want to think, you, you'll be better than the other person who have not acquired a level of knowledge that you have acquired. And now, so it's, it's a matter of sitting down, you look inwards, what is that thing I am good at doing? Pursue after it and be consistent at it. You may fail at the start, but brother, keep pushing. As you keep pushing, you realize that you may be an enviable name in the nearest future. The likes of Mark Zuckerberg and the rest, they just sat back, look at the problem of people. How do we solve this problem? And before you know, they came up with ideas. Today, nobody can stay without Facebook. Nobody can say Instagram. People value Google. You, you need an idea for anything. You just go to Google. Like in China, they say they ban Google. They don't want to use Google because they have their own. Own. Somebody just sat by and said, man, we can duplicate this idea and see how we can stop our government from allowing us to access Google Let, we, we, so that we have everything we need in Africa. You know, these are some of the things that we need to sit back. We, for, that's why, personally, I, I respect education so much. I respect people who study so well for education. But you craving to be honored because you came out with the first class i i don't really respect that so much because you went out there and you read somebody's book the book was not written by you you read somebody's book and you were able to write what that, that person said and you are expecting that i'm a master holder you know but you're expecting that they should give you uh, they should give you one billion that's not important you have gone you've read what the person has been able to do it's now your place sit down and do something creative do something that is innovative something that nigerians have never seen before and boy i can assure you i can assure you that there are words that you are going to have you won't believe yourself that's the most we have first class holders everywhere in nigeria but we are still faced with difficult okay imagine the issue of politics despite the fact that we have his class guys who are politicians who, who, who have come out from political side and order this thing they are very good but because of greed we cannot sit down and say hey from now henceforth we must make sure that in this state if you are producing a politician call a senator he must be able he must be of this standard so that the next three years, when we look back, we see the achievement, lofty achievement that we have acquired via his knowledge. That is what we should do. There should be a particular political party that, that will come out and say, from now on, so this is the kind of people that we represent. And anybody or any person who is us that goes and mans also position, this is the kind of person, that person, uh, kind of things the person must produce, the kind of things the person must represent. And we stand by it. Not to be carried away by money and all of that. I think that is just what I have to. What do you have to say about this? I learned a lot from this write-up. I learned a lot from this whole thing. Now, what caught me thinking was the fact that in the midst of nothing, they produced the very things that are needed. There was no uh, uh, um, ready medical uh, uh, things available, but they used coconut water for to treat the sick so much that it gained national international recognition that the international body the international body had to absorb it in their journals in a place that has they've been locked down or militarized they have militarized their borders they looked inward that's not even just that they had to be moving station normally everybody knows registration should be one particular place they antenna up they were moving station from place to place they hit he said according to him he said a person they used both air and ground troops to look for the radio station they couldn't find it see because they mount they use a front palm front to cover it from area view then on the ground you can't see because it's not on the ground a passenger was amazed. Even after capturing the guy, he even begged the guy, please, we want to absorb you into Radio Nigeria. You are too much. In the midst of nothing, they use palm front. That means infrastructure is not an excuse not to be innovative. Infrastructure is not an excuse, although it's also not an excuse for the government not to provide infrastructure. But what we are saying is, 
Why can't we carry our thinking cap just like the Biafran did? See, this is very unbiased. Is the truth the way it is? It is. If you can look inward, call these guys, all these so-called people who read abroad. Tell them, come. You say you carry first class. Come and produce. Can you produce us something? Something. That's now they, they have locked the borders. The they have locked the borders, and somebody is looking for a product. Can't you get the substitute Nigeria made? Now that is wearing thinking cap. They locked everywhere so that these people will die in. Abakeleke produces rice. Now is there any need? To, are you looking for trying to export it to Ghana? Eh? Lagos alone have not Population finished. Have not Lagos. finished. Have not finished supplying Lagos. Lagos is in need of rice. Hey, you move that rice from that tobacco lake south is that it is. Bring it to Lagos here. Eh? You begin to see that people will be enjoying, people will be happy. And the farmer, just not, it's not just rice. Just Every thing. other thing. thing. Honestly, we need to take a cue from the beer, from the old beer friends. We need to start winning articles. We have locked the borders. It's not for us to be innovative, self-developing. I don't know if Nigerians will at least hit this call and remove sentiment from this. Remove the core and remove sentiment from this. All right, but that's my take on this, really. All right, um, you've heard it all. Let's comment. What do you think can be done now that the borders are closed and now that you've heard what the Biafrans did during the time that they encountered the same thing, border closure? What do you think Nigerians should do? Go to our comment section, let us interact, and tell us your own heartbeat in respect to this. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.